I didn't have a taquito until I got married. <laughs> That's and, what you call it? And I've never, <laughs> I've never had a Wagyu. Good mythical morning. Now, Link, your palate has often been described as a Harnett County palate, right? Well, by you. <laughs> Only, <laughs> yes, by you. Yeah, right. I mean, that's so true. I usually prefer the less highfalutin foods. I'm like a lowfalutin food guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I didn't eat guacamole or hummus or burritos until I was in college. Oh, those sophisticated burritos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there's actually plenty of people out there who have a much narrower palate than you. I just I mean, wasn't- You've eaten a lot of things, man. Yeah, I've grown a lot. Yeah, I've well, benefited a lot. Well, today is for those people, like Link used to be, uh, with a slightly narrow palate, who delight in the simple snack, but might want to expand their palate just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally on board with this. I'm a, I'm a better person by eating other things, including fancier things. So the dishes that we're testing today might do that for you. Right, so the question is, can we endear average Joe eaters to expensive top shelf ingredients? And we're gonna do that by making junk food really fancy. It's time for Top Shelf Snacks. Okay, so we've got our average Rhett and Link hats on. Mm -hmm. uh, we've picked out some of our favorite average Rhett and Link junk food from the grocery store. Then the Mythical Kitcheneers have created top shelf versions of that food by making it with very expensive ingredients. Yes, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try each just side by side with the real thing to see if the average Joe would prefer the bougie version better or if nothing beats the OG junk. In other words, is this food good for the average Joe or a big old average no. Let's eat. What if El Monterey decided to make Wagyu Tokitos? Wagyu? I don't even know if that's how you say it. Wagyu? Wagyu, I think it's Wagyu. Uh, these are the normal El Monterey Tokitos, and these are the ultra fancy versions with Wagyu. Now, beef. a box of 21 El Monterey beef and cheese taquitos costs $4.49 at Ralph's. Uh, how many would 21 of these cost? Or how much? <laughs> how many would they cost, Josh? <laughs> they would cost $75.45. Dang, you gotta put a you no. gotta put a taquito on a layaway plan. I think we gotta start with the regulars every time, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I didn't I didn't have a taquito until I got married. <laughs> That's and, what you call it? And I've never, <laughs> I've never had a Wagyu. I've never had a Wagyu. You've had a Wagyu. I couldn't tell what was happening. Man. That's good. Look at the way the Wagyu peaks out of the end. The, what is the Wagyu? Wagyu? So it's, it's Wagyu is actually just the Jap beef. it's the word for Japanese cow in Japanese, um, but it typically refers to the style of cows that are raised in Kobe, although those are regionally protected. So the American style Wagyu has the DNA of the Japanese cow crossbred with the American Angus. So this mm. is actually DNA tested Wagyu. Well, I don't want to picture cows mating when I'm eating this. Oh, that's all I picture when I'm eating. This. <laughs> Dude, this is really good until they ta started talking about cow sex. It's so much better. Oh. I, mean, I don't care who you are or how much you had to forfeit in order to get this. It is it is so good, so much better. I don't care how average your palate is. Mm. If you like this, you you're gonna love, love this. Yes, and then you'll be able to say, I wag you it or something. I think know? we gotta come up with a, a new name other than wag you. Fru-fru beef. Don't pronounce the Y, wagu which I think is actually proper. Is that right, Josh? Fru-fru wagyu beef. You say wagyu? Uh, wagyu. Oh, wagyu. He wagyu. Kiko nodded his head because it's Japanese and it's correct. I think we're just gonna I know say, what we're saying. We're wagyu, saying, wagyu. All we're really saying is, this is good for the average Joe. You're gonna get fancy. When was the first time you ever had lobster? Um, uh, I think it's when we went to Maine. <laughs> In 2008. We were already like 30. I'd been married for, I'd been married for eight years. <laughs> okay, well, you're gonna have it again today. <laughs> because I would've had it earlier if it was in a hot pocket. This is a reg hot pocket, and that's a lobster hot pocket. Now, 12 of these cost $9.62 at Walmart. How many would a 12 pack of these cost? I keep uh, saying how many. Like, I, I'm talking like a child when it comes to money. You're, you're, get, you're getting below average. How many dollars? Does it cost? 
$180.33 is how many it would cost. Oh, God. so So a little over $90 for one of these. Uh, for six of these. So for a 12 pack. <laughs> yeah. Why? Not again. Are those hats six doing cost, something to you guys? <laughs> oh, man. First of all, just the outside is nice. I'm gonna just bite it, man. Mm, look at that. I, I'm a little nervous at this, though. This seems like a strange juxtaposition. Mm. There's nothing strange about it. Mm. I've had a lobster roll. I'm always disappointed in a lobster roll. But this, this is better than a lobster roll. You were disappointed in my birthday party? In the lobster roll only. The music was great. The um, lobster rolls were great. Lobster Steve, rolls great. are great. Yeah. You can have them with mayonnaise or you can have them with hot butter and this both ways are delicious. It's better than that. Well then no, save not. me half. It, it is to me. This is better. Oh, it's, it's not a, better it's than a, a lobster roll. It's more averaged. Um, the price point, I mean, if you get 12 for $180, I mean, that means you're paying more than $10 for each one. You're paying like, I don't know the math, $12 at least, right? Cheaper than a lobster roll though. Exa exactly, and that's what's happening here is that we're like, hey, you ever had a lobster? You ever had a lobster roll? No, I don't, I don't, I don't eat lobster rolls. It's like a crustacean, is it? It's like an insect of the sea. But, th but it's in a hot pocket. Really? It's, yeah. <laughs> what? First, how, first how, one's free. How much? First one's free? First one's free, and you're gonna pay out the nose for the rest, but you'll be hooked. Here's the thing, every time in my life anyone has told me that, it's got me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> right, but you can't resist, can you? I, I don't know, I agree, I do think this is really, really good. If you, if you take the price point out, if the first one is free, then I think this is easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is good for the average Joe. Yeah, yeah, First yeah, one's yeah. free. You see how Josh is just bringing us things that are weird and delicious? Well, you can actually see him make the things that are weird and delicious over on the Mythical Kitchen YouTube channel. Whole other channel. channel. And then you know what? It's not just a YouTube channel. They also have a podcast called A Hot, Hot Dog, Dog is, is a sandwich. sandwich. Where Josh and Nicole this week are debating which is better, canned or tap soda. I mean, these are the things that you want to know. I don't even know what tap soda is. I am so average. Yeah, you know, from the fountain. All right, what if Funyuns decided to make Truffle Funyuns. They'd probably call them Truffle Funyuns. Right. They probably wouldn't, they'd probably call them something else. If they're good, we'll rename them. Okay, now if everybody knows a regular old Funyuns good and it costs $3.99 at Kroger for a six ounce bag. Uh, how much would six ounces of these cost? Uh, Mitch. It'd be $25.99, which to me is a steal. Oh, 26, okay. I'm not full, that's $26. But how many would it cost? Uh, about the same-ish. I think. You know the first time I ate a Funyun, just to just to turn everything on its head here? When you were two, when you were a baby. I think last year. Oh gosh. I never. I mean, I think it was on this show, it was the first time I ever You've ate a Funyun. You've been afraid fun. of Funyuns. I mean, it's like, why would I want an onion? That's fun? It, why would you not? It's like, there's so many other funner snacks than I have to go to an onion. I, I mean, I, I, have, I never tried one. Here's the thing. There's a lot of things in my life that I've had that I did not seek out. Like, when you say I never had a Funyun, I'm like, well, I never sought out a Funyun, but somehow they just ended up in my mouth. Woo. And I think that's the case with most people. Try that. Uh, Gracious, that's strong. Truffle is strong. Truffle love. In general. Why, why is a truffle so strong tasting? Because it's expensive. It's like the reason it exists. Because it exists. Yeah, oh. it's kind of existential. Woo! That's good, man. I think you got it. Call it something else besides truffle. Ruffle. It's like trouble. You say trouble? Trouble dust. You want to get into some trouble, you Funyuns? Trouble dusted did Funyuns. You, did you say truffle or did you say trouble? Cause I'm down with trouble. I think I think that really will do it. Trouble dusted Funyuns. How much is a bag? Twenty five dollars. What? It's the first one free. And then it, and then afterward, you're like, you know, it's 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 really just a truffle. You mean that thing that a pig snuffles up? Here's what I'll say. A lot of times truffle oil on things will Ooh. completely overpower a dish. And even if like a lot of fancy places have truffle fries, I usually don't get them because I feel like it just does something that I don't want done to my taters. 
But something like is a, like a garlic fry. No, garlic fries are good. I'm saying sometimes truffles too strong. Mm. But I would I thought this was going to be an easy no for the average Joe. But having tasted them, they're way more fun than yeah. Funyuns. A little marketing. You 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 make it edgy. Yeah, we got good, a good good slogan. for the average Joe. Trouble dusted. I'm told that there is a spice so expensive that by weight, it's actually worth more than gold. And what is that spice? I'm told that it's saffron. Okay, yes, we have saffron Twinkies. Now, I got reg Twinkies over here, 10 Twinkies, two ninety nine at Target. Uh, how many? You know the first <laughs> with, time I ate a Twinkie? With the saffron ones. Cost. On this show? <laughs> $49.50. Good God. Okay, so, okay, 50 bucks. Now, this, there's more than saffron happening on these, right? What else is happening? There is, we did a little uh, creme fraiche and white chocolate and ganache instead of your standard cream filling. Well, I'll tell you, this standard cream filling is making me happy. You ever done that before? You take a bite out of the middle and put it back together, and you and you give that to your kids. Oh, wow, it's a fun <laughs> size. Mm -hmm. You should have got y'all some Twinkies. Cause, cause, Cause if you don't do that, what are you supposed to do, just like, like nibble it? I'm mean, like, oh, there's another fun size. Hey, no, dude. that doesn't work. No, you gotta do what I did. You gotta keep the cream on the inside. They're, they'll fall for that until they're about four. So let's take a look at, ooh. Look at that, I'm double barreling it. Whoop. Now, I'm not a huge saffron fan, okay? I'm gonna say that. I've had saffron ruin too many nights. Is that what the orange specks are? Yeah, yeah, saffron turns food like a nice golden color. It, so the, the, the color of these Twinkies is more pleasing. It pops a lot more. This is what a regular Twinkie on the box looks like. So we're finally meeting expectations. But the taste? I think saffron tastes like you might have gotten into like a pool filter. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like Yeah, just like, just, I, just lapped it up. Like, Woo. would you like me to take the pool filter and dip your Twinkie in it? Like I'm, I hate to say that, Josh, but you know, compliments to the chef for everything except the saffron. That's bad. Um, that is bad. I just don't like the flavor of it. I don't understand why it's so expensive. It's like one of the biggest well, hood how, winks of mankind. It's how they harvest it, Rhett. That's why it costs so much. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to summon a demon, and then pay him off. It's a demon summoned black market. Spice. Oh, I mean, you're really trying to sell it. It's not working for me because it tastes like a pool filter. It tastes horrible. And one time I got the pool filter. Well, one time I got something stuck in the pool filter. And uh, yeah. talk about a long weekend. <laughs> just, just because your palace average does not mean that you are not smart. Right. And if you eat this, you are going to know that it sucks because you're smart. Yeah. And average, so like me. What we're saying is that of everything that we've tasted, just the saffron Twinkies get a big old average. No, oh! hey, but you know what? We learned some things because some things were good. In fact, most everything. Most was everything good. except the saffron. I mean, we're like freaking palate expanders. Man, way is to go, Josh. Can yeah, we? Man, way to go, you two. We're palate expanders. Palate here. expanders. That's like something that, that you get at the dentist. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Molly. And I'm Molly's mom. We're from Texas, but we're in Disney World right now at Villains After Hours. And it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Dang, I thought y'all were sisters. Oh, the timing, the timing <laughs> of that. Did they, how, did they, how long did they plan that? What? The timing of the music. It was beautiful. You know what? We're gonna try some chicken chips <laughs> and good mythical more. Stick around. Got a bag of chicken chips. And to find out whether Willow Mythicality is gonna land. This is like a freaking turkey leg you'd get at a Renaissance fair, except it's an ostrich. This is a dinosaur turkey leg. This is what the T Rex is reading at the Ren Fair.